I know, I know, I know. There's a bunch of AI agents out there and you can't decide which one to use. Well, let me show you Skywork, which is one of the best options out there. The idea of Skyworks is to make things differently. Why? Because it's better structured, you get great results, and it kind of goes beyond just waiting to chat with it because it can follow up with what you need and it gives you predictions of what you might need in the future so you can go from there. So in other words, if you chat with other AI agents, they're kind of waiting for you to let them know what to do. In this case, it can do the whole job from the beginning. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So before I show you the tools and how it works, let me show you some examples of it actually working. Now, in my case, I uploaded something, in my personal opinion, important for me because I like this kind of topics, is I uploaded the Constitution of Mexico and the Constitution of the United States, which is a really complex topic. I mean, it's not your ordinary document out there. I uploaded both. And what I wanted to know is the difference between these, difference and similarities of the Constitution and what I like about Skywork is that it's organized and it predicts what you might need. It waits a bit in case you want to decide manually based on their suggestions to go forward. So you got this first block, then you got your to-do list, and then it continues. But if you don't even select something, in a few seconds, it'll automatically go through the process and generate it for you. So in this case, I got my results right here. I got the file. I got my table of contents. I got the whole document here with highlighting the the similarities and differences from of both constitutions and it i think it's really interesting in my opinion but i mean you would have to check this out for yourself i'll be leaving the link to these so you can check it out but the podcast that is generated from this is fantastic right but i'll show you that in a bit so it's super easy to analyze documents and it'll predict what you might need and generate it for you you can go ahead and continue with the chat and go with the flow and, and customize it get better results if you want to improve it but i got great results straight from the beginning right now, I also tested this one, which created slides for me based on that document. Now, I like the look and feel of this. I got nice colors, nice hover over effects here. You can see here, United States, Mexican side is divided. You got the principal and, and preambles. You got the structure of the government. Really nice looking here with some check marks, some details that are different. There's even a timeline here. So if I scroll down here, this is timeline of the Constitution. And I think it's really nice. Plus, I can start using this right now, look at it, analyze it. I can chat with it to improve it, make some changes, something I didn't like. I can do all of that right here. Plus, I also generated a podcast from this document. So from this document, I generated this podcast. Now, I was so surprised and honest to God that this, this isn't BS. I actually played this out and it, and it was interesting. I was like, I didn't want to stop it because it was interesting how it worked. Let me give you an example right here. So what I'm going to do here is play and you can go ahead and forward this if you don't think it's interesting, but I do want you to take the little time to analyze and hear how it's actually interesting. And it was generated automatically. I just provided the details and that's about it. I didn't do a follow up. I didn't continue. So I'm going to start the speaker from over here because that's where the interesting part is. Hello, written in the U.S. Constitution primarily focuses on political and civil rights, what we might call negative rights or freedoms from government interference. It begins with those famous words, we the people, and emphasizes individual liberty. Great point. In contrast, Mexico's constitution was revolutionary in establishing positive rights, things the government must provide to citizens. For example, Article 123 contains extensive protections for workers, including an eight-hour workday. It's actually interesting how the constitutions are different. Now, I, wanna, I don't want to go into this, but I, I, lo I loved it. I mean, the results that I got, this could be uploaded into a podcast and it would be something that someone will want to hear because it's it's different i mean i provided a good results there and it generated a great podcast with someone talking back and forth about the differences and similarities which is pretty cool right that was generated with skywork with little to none effort i mean that's the crazy part about this now one of the things that you can check out in skywork is that you can actually view how this works by doing it you replay so if i do a replay for this you kind of get the sense of how it works it's like the video of how they generated this. And it starts talking, it goes through this points. You'll get the options here. It'll kind of stop here and you'll get the option to decide here. For example, written language, the written length, and then you decide to continue. You get like, it, it goes in advance and lets you know, hey, you might want this. So let me know if we should continue with this or just go with the rest. You got a to-do list. You got all these details. You see how it's making the a deep search doing factual uh, investigations for the results that it's going to get. 
and it's really interesting how it works now let me show you how sky works is ready to go to start using right now so let me go into my dashboard here and you'll see that they have several options available here with icons so you can get started with documents and each one of these that you select will give you different options so for example i'm in documents right now you can see it's highlighted here and i can do a fast mode or deep mode so depending how important it's going to be go ahead and select the right mode for you you got your default template or different type of templates depending on what you want to use this for so in my case i use a general but if it's if it's academic go ahead and select this if it's going to be a blog a summary marketing ads etc go ahead and select the right template for this which is going to give you way better results and you also have the option to enable or disable the search feature plus you can upload documents you can upload from your computer uh, you can use a folder that you've generated previously here on the left you can grab from the launch base so if you uploaded previous documents and you want to use it just go ahead and select it link and text cloud upload or professional data which is vip that is for documents what about slides well just go ahead and select slides practically similar options go ahead and provide the information here what i did was provided the document information for the comparison and boom i got my slides with slides there are templates that you can select so if you want to use one of these go ahead and select it and generate it from there you got sheets so you got you got some examples here so if i go to replay you'll see how sheets it's going to work and it does its job again in the beginning it's going to ask you for details that you might want to follow up with so you can select here what you want and continue from there so it thinks in advance for you so it's not just about you talking to it all the time like you would normally with other AI agents in this case you actually get in advance options that you might need and then it'll continue which i truly love about this the ai developer so if you want to work with coding if you want to generate something go ahead and do so right here for example here's a replay of this league of legends champions showcase now i can go through this flow just to understand how it works but i can go ahead and view the results right here so here it is let me go ahead and widen this up and this, this was generated with skyworks so for example here's a filter I can go ahead and heart this. I can go ahead and add to comparison. It's already added there. Maybe the jogger not. I'll also add it as comparison. I got three compare here. Let's compare these champions and I'm viewing the details right here. This was generated with the AI developer here on Skywork. And you can develop, well, practically whatever you want. Just go ahead and talk to it, do some tweaking, modify things until you get the results that you like. There's the podcast version, which I showed you already. I love the results for this. Honestly, you got to test this out with something that's interesting, with a super interesting topic and get those results and start uploading to podcast pages and get some views. You also have the general option, which is well, general, right? Then you got your YouTube vibe, which lets you add a link here. You can analyze that link and just go through the details of that video. For example, here is something that was generated with it. Let's go ahead and view the results for this. And again, it's a replay of the YouTube vibe feature and here we go here's what it did it analyzed this video that was requested here and generated a 10 page slide from it so here we go made by google 2025 and this document was generated from a video so it could be your video and turn it into slides or it could be someone else's video and turn that into slides and you could potentially do something really interesting right here so skyworks can do a whole bunch of things for you now let's go back into the dashboard because you can do way more and on the left we're able to view for example start a new project past projects i can search through the projects i can schedule tasks to be done every day so for example here's the video ideas that are going to be done every single day so this was generated 22 minutes ago and it's going to do this every single day and what it's being asked to is find for me top 10 relevant viral tech ideas so i can make videos about so every single day at a certain hour, I'm going to get these results right here. So what is going on today that is super interesting that I can grab right now and make a video about. Now, doing this is super easy. If you go to schedule tasks, go to schedule tasks, set the type of agent that you want to use, documents, slides, sheets, podcast, general, title, the prompt that you want, how frequently do you want to do this, in this case, daily, weekly, monthly, and what time do you want to set this up? And it's going to do it at the time that you set it up. Now, in this case, every single day, I'm going to get those top 10 ideas that I don't have to manually go ahead and research. Now, in this case, I wrote a super simple prompt for testing. But if you write something really good, you're going to get really great results every single day that you run this. All right. Then you got your knowledge base to view all the documents here. You can create folders to organize. Plus, you also have showcase 
right here to do documents, slides, sheets, etc. So Skyworks is a fantastic option to start using right now to improve the way you use AI. Like I said, from a super simple getting started prompt, you can get really great results, which is not what you're going to get if you use other AI agents. And this is not like me hyping Skywork, but if you use ChatGPT, Gemini, uh, whatever, or Praxity, whatever, it's not going to generate great results from the beginning. You'll have to really talk to it for a long time and get back and forth results. And hey, this is not what I want to do this, do that. I told you to do a slide, not an image, and a, you know, back and forth. And with Skywork, I got re really great results from the beginning, from a super simple getting started prompt. I, so I think this is definitely user friendly. If you're generating documents, if you're analyzing documents, if you need slides, if you are a developer, this is a great option to use. Oh, and by the way, I asked Skywork for a discount for you guys, and I managed to grab one for a limited amount. So if you use my coupon code SASMaster with capital letters or subscribe through my link, you're going to grab a 30% discount if you subscribe. Oh, and this is only available for 30 spots. So definitely grab it now before these spots are gone. And that's a wrap for Skywork.